lot of the confusion comes in trigonometry because we did not spend enough time learning about a unit circle. Now this is a, called a unit circle because if this is the center of the circle. Anytime I draw a radius out to the edge of the circle, it has a length of one unit. So for this example, I have a triangle and if I always look at the angle that comes from the center, the central angle, we'll call it theta. Think about what these other lengths could possibly be. This length, they have to be shorter than one because one is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. It's the longest side. This is probably around 0.8 maybe. And this looks like about mm, half that size. I'm going to go with about point, well, it's a little bit less, 0.4. Those estimates should come up when I use my calculator to figure out the sine and cosine. That's going to give me the length of these two sides. In this example, let's call it theta. It looks like about maybe 35 degrees here. And it was decided a long time ago that we use the word sine to represent the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So the sine of 35 degrees equals the opposite is what we don't know. I'm guessing it's 0.4, but we'll see. So I just, I'll just i put an O, and then the hypotenuse we definitely know is 1. To solve for O, I'm going to make it OPP, so that way we know. I need to do a little bit of maybe thinking algebraically to recognize that to isolate my variable and multiply both sides by 1. So if I do 1 times the sine of 35 degrees, that equals the opposite. I multiply both sides by one because this is being divided by one. So to do the inverse operation, I multiply both sides by one. Okay, so now I'm gonna type it in. I type it in, I get the sine of 35 degrees is 0 0.5735 and so on. Now it's the same thing for the cosine. I'm trying to see what the length of this side is. So cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So from angle theta, the adjacent side is the one touching still that central point. So I'm gonna type it in my calculator. Remember the hypotenuse is still one. So I simplified the same way. If I type in cost 35, I'll get my length. I got 0.819152 and so on. This estimate was closer to the actual answer of 0.819, but you see this should be close to one because it's almost the same length. And this should be much less than one because it's clearly not as long as one. Now, if this triangle didn't have a hypotenuse of one, if it was scaled up, if that length was like six, then I would just take these two numbers, multiply them by six, and that would give me equivalent lengths when scaling up the triangle. But that's for another video. Hope this helps. Thanks.